This is Neil Patori. In this segment, I'm going to derive the union bound and talk about how it drops the joint probability. Let's say you have two events, E1 and E2. They overlap, and I'm trying to find the probability of the union. That is, the probability that either E1 or E2 happens, or both. From the axioms of probability, we have an expression that we take the probability of E1 plus the probability of E2, and we correct for the fact that the area of E1 and the area of E2 has this overlap region which gets counted twice unless we subtract the probability of that joint probability. I'll write it here as E1 cap E2. One of the axioms of probability is that the probability of any event greater than or equal to zero. So this probability is positive, and because it's got a minus sign in there, that makes it negative, or zero. And by ignoring that part, by dropping this joint probability, this side becomes larger. So what the union bound says is that it's going to drop that joint probability, and it's going to become the probability of E1 plus the probability of E2, and we're going to leave the union event on the other side that probability of that union event is less than or equal to the probability of P1 plus the probability of E2. The real probability is going to be lower than that. It's going to be lower than that by this intersection probability. It might be equal. It will be equal if the two events don't overlap. If the two events don't overlap, we'll have that this probability is equal to the probability of E1 plus the probability of E2. And by don't overlap, we mean that the two events are disjoint. In general, if we have lots of events, then the probability of the union of all of those events is less than or equal to the sum of the probabilities of each event individually. And in communications, we're going to set EI to be certain error events. And we're going to calculate the total probability of error, which might include overlapping error probabilities, by using this union of the EI events. This probability, the sum of all the probabilities error, is going to be higher than or equal to the actual probability of error. And when we tell our you know, customer or our manager that the probability of error of this link is going to be less than this number that I'm giving you, that in reality won't get exceeded. And if it's less than that when we deploy the system, that'll be okay. People will be happy that the number is a little bit less than the bound that you gave them. This is the value of the union bound, that it gives us an upper bound. And here I use the word conservative or upper in the same way. It's upper bounding that probability of error of the actual event of a symbol error.